Hi, Year 8s. I thought we'd have a go at looking at some of our algebra stuff because some people are still getting a little bit confused, but that's okay. So, what we're going to do is look at how we might solve some simple equations, okay? So, we don't know what x equals. Some people can just look at it and tell, but let's go through the process of figuring out how we get x on its own. That's how we figure out what x is, by moving things away from x so that it's on its own. So, whatever is in the way, we want to move it to the opposite side of the equal sign and do the opposite. Okay, so what we're going to do is move it and do the opposite. So we're going to move it to the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so let's move the one first. Remember, you always want to leave the number that's attached to the letter until last. So because the two is attached to the x, we're going to do that one last. So let's move the one. Okay, now what is it at the moment? It's a plus. So what should we do on the other side? Make it a minus, okay? It's just that easy. So 9 minus 1 is 8. Now we want to get rid of the 2. What is the 2 doing at the moment? Well, remember, no sign means times, so it means 2 times x. What's the opposite of times? Divide. So we're going to, well, pff, that's the answer, not what it is. 8 divided by 2, so x is 4, okay? And we can go back and check. Does it work if we make it 4? 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Fantastic, it works. All right, let's have another go at another one. We'll do a few more steps this time. Uh, let's say 3x minus 2 over, hang on, what do I want to make it? Hang on, let's do something else. <laughs> I'm going to make this an easy one so I don't end up with decimals. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's try and move things away from x one at a time. So remember when we're dealing with fractions, you always need to move the bottom of the fraction first, okay? You can't start moving the top of it because this whole thing is being divided by 5, not just a bit of it, so we need to get rid of this bit first. Now, remember fractions mean divide, so to get rid of the 2, we're going to do, sorry, to get rid of the 5, we're going to do the opposite. If it's dividing at the moment, we're going to times it. So... 3x minus 2 equals 10. Now, let's move the 2 next, although it's not just a 2, is it? This is a negative 2. So if it's a negative 2 on that side, let's make it a positive 2 on this side. So 3x equals 12. Now we need to move the 3. What is it doing at the moment? This is 3 times x. So we're going to divide by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is... Four. So that means x equals 4. Now we can go and check it if we want. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So it works. Fantastic. All right, hopefully that helps.